asked you. The institutes of medicine gave cover to the Obama administration uh, for much of the debate leading up to the passage of Obamacare. And a lot of politicians, uh, a lot of people have been writing about this, believe that this, this quote, institute has become wildly political. And, and for them to come forward and say, we need yet another tax, that's on top of all the other surcharges sure. that are already in Obamacare. Remember, there's that 3.8% mm -hmm. uh, surcharge that's also going to be levied. So this is another uh, attempt to redistribute the wealth. It's not about making health care more efficient. It's not really about preventative services. This is about expanding the pool of money, the pot of money that is necessary in order to provide uh, adequate, quote, coverage to all Americans. And it's just, I mean, we're all being tax to death. I mean, you add it all up, we're all getting taxed to death, and this is just one more ridiculous uh, uh, burden being put on the American health care consumers. I think the other day when we did this story, we showed a map of the states that actually receive the least amount of public health money, and they had the best health care. You know, so it was like oh, yeah. the opposite of what you would expect. The more money you put into it, the worse the health care was. Yeah, what we need is more mar market-based reforms, right, that make health care more efficient. And this just, again, it just piles on uh, uh, more levies on people who are already feeling the burden of high gas prices, the burden of, of high food prices, uh, and all the other uh, hidden taxes that are, are now being levied on services and, and, and items that we buy. And, and I think that the, the American consumer is at a breaking point. The American family is at a breaking point. And this is just one more way that life, daily life is going to become ridiculously expensive for most people. Sure.